this video will be very special because I'm not going to put any music or anything like that. Just pure gameplay of online league and why I feel like it's one of the best game modes. So just commentary and pure gameplay. Enjoy. We're going up against the Golden State Warriors. He has Victor Wemby and Porzingis as his top players. He has the Twin Towers. So this will be one of the best games of the season. I hope you guys are ready. I'm ready. It's going to be 10 minutes of pure gameplay. So to start this first quarter, I wasn't too sure how he will play because it's my first time playing against the Warriors. So I had to play a little bit slow just to see how he will react to my offensive sets and also how... Oh, whoa. <laughs> it's my first commentary of the day, so I'm kind of rusty. So I almost uh, mixed up my words there. And my commentaries are always one shot. Well, I try to do them one shot. Because I'm trying to improve. I haven't done so much commentaries in a while. This week... Ooh, look at Victor Wemby. This week though, I've been trying my best. Honestly, if you look at my channel, I've uploaded five videos this week. So I'm pretty sure you might have missed one or two. Check it out. Drop a like and comments. I've been trying to grind a lot for 2K24, especially for online my NBA or online my league, whatever you'd like to call it. So this first quarter was pretty close. He brings the help. Scotty Barnes, Zach Levine is in the corner. I made a mistake. It happens. Victor Wemby behind the back. Woo, okay. I didn't expect him to do it behind the back. Like I said, it's my first time playing against him. I didn't know what he was going to do. So I'm going to get into the paint right here. He switched to a 2-3 zone, by the way, because he was trying to stop my offensive sets. Porzingis in the paint. He gets pretty deep. And he gets the dunk on Scotty Barnes. So I'm going to come off the screen. Lonzo Ball, wide open three-pointer. He misses. And in these types of games, you can't afford to miss open shots. Norman Powell with the Euro step layup. Or was that Kobe White? <laughs> I'm not too sure because my previous screen while I'm doing commentary is kind of small. I don't remember who he has on his team. So it is a one point game. I didn't want to risk that pass into the paint because Porzinga was, Porzingis was kind of camping. I thought he was going to intercept that pass. Because passing in the paint is really tricky this year. You can't like <laughs> just pass it in there like that. So you got to be really, uh, really be sure that they're wide open. So that's why I didn't do it. So I'm going to have a nice double screen play right here. Quentin Grimes on the wing. That's a shot I usually knock down. But I miss it. I think this is my first game of the day as well. Josh Giddy is going to take advantage of our miss. He's going to go coast to coast and get a four point lead. So he's going to have a nice play right here with Kobe White. He jacks up a three. I didn't expect him to pull it like that. So my opponent is up by seven points. So we are facing adversity on the road in Golden State. Lonzo Ball is going to come right back with a layup. So we are down by five points. Kobe White jacks up another three. He misses this one this time. I'm going to be patient with it. Scotty Barnes in the corner. Huge three-point shot. Cuts the lead down to two. Because my opponent had the momentum. I'm not sure how I lost the ball there. I think that was a, fump, <laughs> a bump steal or body steal. I don't know how you call that, but I don't like those type of steals where they just dribble it off their foot. Kind of annoying. But Scotty Barnes in the corner again. Oh no, that's Quentin Grimes. Nice rebound by Noel. Scotty Barnes in the corner on the right side this time. So we cut the lead down to three. Lonzo Ball's going to get into the paint. I'm going to find JB. And we tied the game. So my opponent has been trying to mix it up on defense against me. He's playing man. He's been switching to zone. He's been sending help in the paint. Scotty Barnes with the offensive rebound. Put back. So this first half, Scotty Barnes has his fingerprints all over it. I'm going to get into the paint with Zach Levine. Mean dunk to end the second half. So another double screen right here. He's going to bring the help. Extra pass. Scotty Barnes in the corner. Beautiful basketball right there. We have 25 points in the second quarter. My opponent has to pause the game and make adjustments. 
So heading into halftime, we are up by five against Wemby's Warriors. So we faced adversity. We were down seven. He had momentum. The crowd was going crazy, but we stick to our game plan. I'm going to let Wemby shoot. So if he decides to beat me by the mid-range shot, so be it. I'm not gonna <laughs> I'm not gonna overreact to that. So Zach Levine has a layup that misses. I think that should have went in. He capitalizes on the other end. But Zach Levine is going to get the revenge on this specific play right here. Look how fast I get into the paint. Mean dunk. I had my mind set up that I'm not gonna make a weak layup again. So I was kind of late with my steal. He's going to make me capitalize. He passes it back out to Fred Van Fleet. Nice three-point play by my opponent. He misses a lob right here. We're going to try to capitalize on the other end. Three-on-one fast break. We're going to find Scotty Barnes. I'm going to let him fly by. A lot of this time... Sorry, a lot of times this game is all about patience. Wemby misses a midi. It's all about patience, especially on your fast break. You gotta wait an extra second or two. Your opponent might make a mistake, which will give you the opportunity to score. Like right here again, he jumps. I wait a little bit. We get an and one with Kevin Porter Jr. And we're gonna convert the three-point play. So if you watch my previous videos, you know we are recruiting for the league. I think there's one spot left. We get a nice steal on Fred Van Fleet. Beautiful defense. I anticipated it nicely. Zach Levine, let's go. And one on Porzingis. So I think there's one or two spots left in the league right now. If you want to join, drop a comment. If you want to join the online league. Victor Wemby kicks it out to Porzingis. He's going to hit a tough layup. So these are the type of shots I'm willing to give up. Tough layups in the paint, mid-range shots, I don't mind. But if he's getting wide open dunks and wide open threes, then there's something I got to do about it. Scotty Barnes, mismatch on Josh Giddy, Layup into the paint. Beautiful defense. We <laughs> Wow. I don't know why I wasn't recording right there. My voice, I was saying that that was great defense on Wemby. I anticipated it. Kobe White with the pull-up three-point shot. That was nice by my opponent. Again, he brings the help. Scotty Barnes in the corner. We're going to capitalize with the three-point shot. If you watch my first two games, it was difficult to shoot with Scotty Barnes and other players. But as we play more games, shooting will become more familiar to me. Drummond with a mismatch. We take advantage. So in this fourth quarter, my opponent had his bench for most of it because he played his starters for all of the third quarter, which means he depleted all their stamina and he couldn't really play them in the fourth. So that's on him. <laughs> uh, some players got to learn how to manage their minutes of their starters more efficiently. For example, me, I mix and match depending on the matchup. I don't always play the same lineups. Every game I switch it up. I don't always play the same starters and the same bench players together. So now we're up by 12 points. We're going to try to put the dagger. So one thing I've learned is when you're fighting against the shot clock, it's better just to shoot a shot up rather than throwing an Aaron pass under pressure. Because if you throw Aaron pass, it might uh, lead to a turnover and a dunk for your opponent. So if you shoot up a shot, you have a chance for offense rebound. So in that play, he got a dunk. I had to call a timeout. We have to kill any momentum he gets because we are on the road and we don't want to lose our lead. Kevin Porter Jr. comes with a clutch three-point shot. So Victor Wemby comes back in the game with about three minutes. Look at these glitchy putback. <laughs> I don't know how he got that putback to go. The shot clock is going down, so I have no choice but to put up a shot. I know Scotty Barnes is there for the putback. There he is. He is in great position. He dunks on Fred Van Fleet, his former teammate. That's her ball hogging and not sharing point guard duties in Toronto. <laughs> so this was a very great game, honestly. We faced adversity. We were down by seven. The crowd was going crazy. He was getting dunks. In the second half, he tried to make a nice comeback again with Kobe White and his bench. But we had to call a timeout, run our plays, play great defense. Overall, great, great gameplay video, honestly. Victor Wemby was held to 10 points. 
Scotty Barnes, obviously the player of the game for us. Andre Drummond with 12 huge rebounds. Everyone contributed in their own way. And it really helped that we knocked down nearly 40% of our threes in this game.